Hi, this is Kilo Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo, Jerry. We're going to be looking at the ZS407 Spectrum Analyzer and Signal Generator from OurSync. They've sent this to me. This is an updated version. We reviewed the ZS406 a few weeks ago, and this is the newer version. We're mainly going to be focusing on the differences between the two today. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can see the original video on the ZS406 and I'm only going to be pointing out the differences today here of what they've changed in the ZS407. Other than that, the two devices are identical. Stay with us to the end. Hopefully you'll learn what the capabilities are of this new spectrum analyzer. Okay, this is the ZS407, the new version of the spectrum analyzer by OurSync. These, these are the components that come with it. You get two cables. You get a double female connector to connect the two cables together or to connect a device under test to, to the spectrum analyzer. There is a stylus. There is the pick that can also be used as a stylus and this one can be connected to, to the device itself. We have a USB charging cable, and this is also a data cable because the spectrum analyzer and the signal generator can be controlled from your PC. I'm not going to be getting into that today. I like to focus on the device itself because this is the way most people will be using it. This is the ZS407. The frequency range for the base frequency is still 100 kilohertz to 900 megahertz but when you get get into the ultra mode this version goes from 900 megahertz to 7.3 gigahertz where the version 406 only went up to 5.3 gigahertz so if you're into that higher frequency range you're going to need the ZS407 instead of the ZS406 the other difference has to do with the signal generator the signal gener generator in this version, in sine wave mode, still goes up to 900 megahertz. But in square wave mode, this version can go up to 6.3 gigahertz. Whereas the model 406 could only go up to 4.4 gigahertz. So it, they've significantly increased the frequencies that this, this device can operate on. Just like the other uh, version, this version can only accept a maximum signal input of a positive 6 dBm. You don't want to overload the front end. If you overload the front end of the device, you could burn it up. Now it has a built-in attenuator. You can go up to 30 dB attenuation, but it's very short duty cycle. It's not, it's not a heavy duty heat sink, so it's very short duty cycle, just a few seconds at most. for. But for the best accuracy, the best measurements, you need to keep your input levels below negative 20 dBm. That's where you get your, your best accuracy. Like version 406, it comes with an SD card that you can take out. You can save screenshots to this. You can then take this out and put it in your PC. You know, if you're out in the field or away from your PC where you can't look at it on screen directly you can save it to the card and take the card out and just it pops out like any other sd card this is this is a 32 gig card put it back in and it has a headphone jack the headphone jack here will demodulate am signals so if you want to monitor something from that you see on your spectrum analyzer it will demodulate it if it's an AM signal. This is the USB-C connector. This is where you charge it, and this is also where you connect it to your PC. In order to get the spectrum analyzer into ultra mode, you need to enter a code. It comes with ultra mode disabled. So if you click on the screen, go into config, and then go, in, go into more, you can see here you got enable ultra i've already got it enabled here but i, I can disable it and go back in go into more 
and it enable ultra and it says to visit the tiny sa org because there's a code that you have to enter to save you the hassle the code is just four three two one hit enter and it goes into ultra mode now there's not really a disadvantage to going into ultra mode except it broadens the sweep range what frequencies you can go up to that this is where you can get up to the 7.3 gigahertz in spectrum analyzer mode and up to 6.3 gigahertz in the signal generator but if you're not operating in those frequencies you know it you can turn that off as with the version 406 that we looked at in a previous video and I, I'd recommend you go back and look at that video I'm not going to go through the same steps here that we did there because the functionality other than the increased bandwidth where you can go up to the higher frequencies everything else works the same on the 407 as it did on the 406 but if you do need those higher frequencies this this is your solution for that it's a very well built unit uh you know it's got some heft to it it doesn't feel cheap it also it comes with this antenna i didn't mention that <laughs> i had it connected already so i forgot to mention it i didn't have it laid out here in front of me but this antenna you know you can monitor frequencies and see what, what's available this is a tiny sa ultra plus and it's a model for ZS407. It's a good spectrum analyzer if you needing to see the signal purity of your transmitter or if you're just wanting to see what signals are out there, this will be a good way to do it. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up down there. It helps out the channel, it helps me out. It lets me know that you're watching, that you like what you're seeing and whether I should make more videos similar to this one also don't forget to subscribe and support the channel buy me a coffee there's a link there if you want to donate to help support the channel and to see more videos if you've got suggestions of videos you'd like to see me do this is kilo mike 4 zulu kilo bravo jerry hope you have a blessed day